Hey guys, how you doing? Back again. I uh, appreciate you coming back. I'm going to talk about the law. And this comes from a, a video I watched called uh, Moore's Law, Part 1 through 7. Uh, amazing lady. Very, very, very knowledgeable. And I, I think a Moore is someone who was born on this soil. Uh, from what she's saying that, that, you know, Moroccans were here first or... I'm not sure how exact, exactly that works, but it's, it's irrelevant. So let's talk about the law. There are three aspects of the law. There is what is the law, who can use the law, and the issuance of that law. What is the law really translates to status. Is someone in their pro se status or their in propria persona? Major, major difference here. Major difference, okay? Pro se means you're a ward of the court. You're a minor. You can't speak for yourself. That's why you have a lawyer. You also can't write a simple document. That's why you have a lawyer, right? That's pro se. Someone's speaking for you. Versus being in your proper person, right? Your proper person uh, in your own rights. Number two, who can use it? Meaning jurisdiction. Usually jurisdiction is geographical, okay? Not always. You know, the, there can be jurisdiction uh, on, a, on a trust, which is a piece of paper, okay? So it's not really geography, <laughs> really, but anyway. If someone is trying to charge you with something, they have to have jurisdiction over the matter, and they have to have jurisdiction over you. They can't have one or the other. If they have one or the other and not both, they don't have jurisdiction, period. That's the law. Or the, the legal law, right? Lastly is the issuance of the law. In other words, the adjudication. The issuance of the law. It's all the same thing, okay? And so, I was speaking of acting in your corporate ward status. Anyone who is acting in their corporate ward status, or pro se, cannot use law. You have to be, the only people that can use law are people that are acting in their sovereign capacity. Period. Period. No law goes on in a courtroom. I've said this many times in my previous videos. No law happens. Why? Because they're an incorporation. They're corporate wards. All of them, the lawyer, the judge, all of them. Well, you can't, you can't practice law without a license to do so, and a corporate ward cannot have a license to practice law. That's why they have bar club memberships. Bar meaning an acronym for British Accredited Registry. When they are in their pro se status, as in a pro se cuter, prosecutor, they cannot speak to you, and they certainly can't speak towards the charges because you're in your proper person or your su juris, in my proper and, 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 and my own rights. They can't speak to you about the charges. First of all, if they haven't established you have to establish status. That has to be put on the record. You put what your status is, where you were born. You know, what your status is. If status has not been established, we can't get to jurisdiction, let alone adjudication, okay? But when you go to court, they already, they assume you don't know anything, and they start adjudicating you, prosecuting you immediately. And that's what happens 98% of the time, whatever the... The actual percentage is, it's very high. So, she also was saying this, very, very compelling. Uh, I suggest you watch it, Moore's Law, part one through seven, you can see it on YouTube. There's a Christ in everybody because Christ is the I am. Versus your name, your name is a label, right? When someone says to you, hey, uh, who are you? You say, I am, in my instance, I am full colon Harold Heifeth Lehman. 
not my name is a name is a label when you identify by a label you are incorporating yourself you're entering a contract and you are now under the jurisdiction of whoever's trying to get you so being able to communicate your correct name and standing and status is so incredibly quote unquote M portent it's very portent it's it's uh, amazingly portent okay or amazingly important if uh, you're not quite up on the on the grammar there and so she is saying that the all law which people think is Allah all law okay comes from uh, the science of astrology, astrotheology. Like I said before, the Christ is the I am, okay? And think about the, the Bible. The Bible comes from Biblios Heliotech, okay? Biblios means record of, Helio means sun, tech means text. Record of sun text. Now, according to Jordan Maxwell, he's spoken with high, high uh, cardinals, and uh, I don't know if he spoke with the Pope or not, but they, they admit it. They know this is, it's all pagan sun worship. That's what religion is based upon, is pagan sun worship and astrology. You know, Jesus was born uh, from the Virgin. Look across Pisces to the other side. It's, it's the Virgin, Virgo. Anyway, get off track here. So, the Zodiac comes from Zodiacus, which means first woman, womb man. Now you must have noticed recently in the House of Representatives, they now say, ah men and ah woman. Okay, ah, ah men. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but they're idiots, okay? Because we are all man. Man and womb man is not a gender word in language. It has nothing to do with gender. We're all man. Women are just man with a womb goes back to the original derivations of language. Very interesting, or interesting. So, check this out. This is gonna blow your mind. The United Nations, okay? The United Nations, uh, you know, they came to power by the ending of the League of Nations, right, 1946. And they, you know, basically uh, took over the world, okay? The United Nations, what do they do? They go in and conquer countries in the name of creating democracies, and they take the people, the native people, uh, and they take them out of their natural-born sovereignty and rights, and they turn the country into a nation-state, Okay, a, a nation state is the United States of America. That's a nation state. So, the difference between nation state versus country. Here's one, China. I mean, you can, you, there are people that are, that are Manchurian, okay, from Manchuria that call themselves Chinese and say they're from China. China is the corporation. Manchuria is the country. But they say they're Chinese or they're from China, identifying by a label, entering themselves into a contract to be property of a sovereign master. The United Nations via trust territories and the Federal Reserve Bank. Just, it's just not good. <laughs> Secondly, Puerto Rico, right? Puerto Rico. Okay, that's a corporation. 
The name of the island is Borncano. The people are Bor Bornqua, but they say, no, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, so you're a non-living corporation. That's property. Good, good, good for you. Not good for you. And here's another example. Europe is Albion. Europe is the corporation, not the government. I mean, you have to understand that the, the Constitution itself is a contract between the corporate federal United States and the country. There's always been two United States, always. It's how it was set up, guys. Not knowing these things, super, super bad, super, super bad for us, right? And as you can see, it's all about how you communicate. You know, sending letters and doing all those things are great and you should do it, okay? It should be on vessels, but you can also orally communicate your rights, your standing, your status, okay? So, all of these corporations, the city of Phil Philadelphia, you know, the state of California, those are corporations, okay? And they operate on the United States Code of Laws or the federal rules, federal rules of criminal procedure. These are public policies. They are not laws, right? Because it's a corporation. A corporation is acting in what? Not in its sovereign capacity. It's acting in its corporate ward capacity. Any entity acting in its corporate ward capacity, guess what? Cannot even speak about the law. That's why the law is not discussed in a court. If you start discussing the law, the Constitution, these types of things, they're going to throw you out, okay? Because first of all, you're being charged by... Uh, uh, you're being charged... Uh, a, a public policy, a charge of breaking public policy, and here you are citing the Constitution. You can't be charged under one jurisdiction and try to defend under another. You can't do it. Okay, that's, it's improper procedure. It's, it's, it's not going to work, okay? If nothing else, these guys follow procedure. And if you know how to follow procedure, they don't fight you. They, they'll, they'll fight you a little bit. They'll, give you, they'll do some hand say, uh, handshake interruptions, you know, hitting the papers and, you know, they keep, you know, saying the same thing. I'm, we're here, you know, you're here for a plea. You're here for a plea. Huh, just stand your ground or stay on your square, as she says. Don't let them trick you into start speaking about the subject matter, right, when... They haven't given you their status or established jurisdiction or proven that they have established jurisdiction, right? And so check this out. These are some of the things you can say to a judge, and I'll close after this, okay? Here's one to the judge. My honor, not your honor, my honor. What is your status? What is your name? What is your nationality? And don't let him or her say, I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh-uh-uh. A U.S. citizen cannot sit a bench. These are their rules, not my rules. So, do you see how it's all fraud? It's not even close to anything that's above board. And yet, everybody gets scared. They get filled with abject fear and they acquiesce instead of asking questions and saying, if nothing else, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, let's, say, let's say this was, um, uh, obviously this is my board, right? Okay. But let's say this was a, a summons from a court. Okay. Well, let's see. I, I, I need to, uh, I have to make a motion for a definitive statement here um, because... I don't understand that word. Did you get that from Webster's Dictionary? Did you get it from a Styles Manual? Because uh, Black's Law Dictionary? 
And how about that one? And that word, 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 and that word. Not to mention there's spaces in between these words. That's a lack of continuum of evidence in grammar, which means it's fraud. Right? So instead of arguing, what, what is there to argue about? You know, for example, if someone, if someone said to you, hey, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, you crashed my car in Hawaii and you owe me money. I mean, what would your argument be? Would it be, you know, I didn't crash your car. No, you'd be, I've never been to Hawaii. Why even, why even give it any credence at all uh, you know, the charge that they're alleging. First of all, you could say, uh, I've never been to Hawaii, bro. You don't have to talk about the car being damaged. So that's the trick that they use. So check this out. Here's another question you can ask, ask him. Where is your license to practice law? And you know, don't say it with attitude, okay? These, these are hardworking people that may or may not know what they're doing but even if they do know, it's about acting in honor. Here's another question. Where is your proof of naturalization in my land? Here's another one. Who gave you authority to be here? These are all things they have to establish and prove and put on the record. Okay? is how it goes. Here's another great one. Who issued you the authority to act in any capacity to file any charges or complaint against anyone? And I promise you, they don't have answers for these questions. You don't have to talk about whatever they're saying you did or didn't do. You've got, you've got all kinds of stuff to ask questions about. Don't make statements, ask questions. Ask questions. Uh, where's your oath of office? Where is your anti-bribery statement? Where is your foreign registration, registration statement of 1938? They have to produce these documents and they don't have them. Okay? An oath of office is an oath someone takes to protect to protect uh, the Constitution. These people are not even part of the country. It's a foreign corporation contracting with your country. So I hope that, you know, clears some things up. Again, it's, <laughs> you know, this stuff isn't as easy as I guess I say I feel it is, but of course I've been in this for, I've been studying this for years. Uh, it's, it's so, it, it makes you feel powerful to know this stuff, guys, I gotta tell you, because you can calmly shut them down and you don't even make one statement. You're not even stating anything. You're not putting anything out there. A question is, is, a, is a query for, uh, you know, for them to be clearer with what they're alleging or what they're saying. It's a question. You've stated nothing. You've put yourself on the record zero. Not at all. Right? All right, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, I'll be back again soon. Who knows what I'll do it on. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe, please. Um, uh, you know, go to Teespring. Look up Mobile Mind Meld or Free Your Mind or Nothing Is As It Seems. Or I can't I think that's right. I don't know. I can't figure out that thing. I've got a bazillion art URLs because I'm stupid with technology. But... There's some pretty cool products if you guys ever want to buy them. Um, other than that, I will see you guys soon. Again, thanks a bunch. Uh, take care now.